Johnny Depp is one of the big screen's most intriguing, and if you ask me, sexiest leading men. Eccentric and mysterious, he's a risk taker, preferring to play outcasts and misfits, choosing roles based on their appeal to him rather than box office potential. Kentucky-born Johnny was a wild teenager. At 16, he left school to pursue a music career in his band The Kids, and hungry for a record deal, they moved to LA. Struggling to make ends meet, friend Nicolas Cage persuaded him to give acting a go. It was a good move, and he quickly made his film debut in Nightmare on Elm Street and Platoon. I can remember uh, working on like films like Platoon, you know, which was before the TV series even, where I'd rewritten Oliver Stone's dialogue, <laughs> and uh, he got a little peeved about it, but, uh, you know, I mean, I was playing the character, it wasn't him, you know. Uh, so I, I've always kind of had a pretty strong opinion of, of the character in the film. I, I'm pretty honest about it right up front. Next, Johnny landed a lead role in the TV series 21 Jump Street. Overnight, he became a teeny bopper heartthrob, a label that made him very uncomfortable. What I didn't understand when I started that thing was that some tell of some sometimes that situation becomes a real assembly line thing it, it scared me to death because suddenly people were stamping me with all these labels and and for me for any actor for for, for any human being it's really dangerous to be to to uh to buy into that label because i think it's very limiting keen to avoid being typecast as a pin-up pretty boy he starred in john waters cry baby gave me a chance to, to make fun of labels and, and, and uh, created images that, that people sort of put on me, um, whether it's Teen Idol or it's Young Rebel or, or uh, Bad Boy or whatever. It was important to make fun of it, of just of being labeled. On the back of that, Edward Scissorhands surprised and impressed audiences and gave Johnny the chance to show off his broad acting range. Playing the quirky recluse, Johnny had few lines, communicating mostly through body language and gestures. It was also the first time he worked with director Tim Burton. The pair have since become great friends, collaborating on seven films so far. He does something different each time, and I mean, I feel like really great working with him uh, because he, you know, he's really interested in trying to find the right tone. and. and, and not everybody can do that, you know? I mean, the mixture of sort of heightened reality and humor and, and drama, to try to mix that together is not, not everybody can do that. Johnny has played many juicy characters, but I think the one that surprised us and excited us the most was the flamboyant and charming rogue Jack Sparrow, who we first met in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. I was handed this opportunity to make something of this of this character, and there were a number of people who thought that I was uh, nuts, you know. <laughs> when we were writing Jack Sparrow the first time through, we, of course, we hadn't seen Johnny's performance, and we were writing this trickster, rogue, swashbuckler character. Johnny's performance was absolutely correct to what we wrote, but nothing like we imagined it would be. As Jack Sparrow, Johnny redefined the traditional pirate persona, using rock star Keith Richards and cartoon character Pippi Le Pew as inspirations. It proved a successful move, earning him an Oscar nomination for the part. Johnny admits he loves playing Jack Sparrow so much that he doesn't want to stop. And the good news is he'll be returning in the next Pirates of the Caribbean instalment on Stranger Tides. Johnny Depp is one of my favourite actors. Mysterious, sexy and free-willed, he's a true artist. He's known for playing unusual and oddball characters and is a risk taker, not motivated by fame or fortune. And I think that's what makes him a true star. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all of the movies you know and the actors you